What what's what can you see looking outside right now? Um, I mean, like I, how far out do you think? think Real, realistically, probably about three miles. Okay. So we're doing a quick follow-up video here. Chris Nelson went out in his R22 with Chris Hauser, one of our instrument instructors, and they did their first impression of Foggles versus the Icarus device. And I'm gonna let Chris kind of tell you what he's been doing, which this is a makes a fun story because you just started doing instrument training. Most of us started out with standard old Foggles. And then what did you choose to do as you started to learn about training? Yeah, so I came up with the, the solid, these are customizers, a, a website online you can go on and you can customize your foggles. But with the standard ones, I found that I could still see through the glazed area on top and it was still cheating to me. So I went out and I, I called them personally and I said, hey, I need something I can't see through but still be the foggles. And they came up with this for me uh, to lessen that area of opportunity to look around and find those openings. So that was kind of what I did to help myself with the standard foggles. Yeah, so he goes a standard, tries that, and then, like I said, I wanted to shoot this video while it's fresh because they just came back, right? So it's like, well, tell us. So we went out, or they went out, and Chris put this on the hat, and the other Chris, there's two Chris's, Chris gave him some instruction and operated the app. And so just your opinion, a kind of a summary from what you did in the video, what did you think then using the device? For first impressions, I, I thought it was great. Um, we literally grabbed it out of the box, put it together and we went out and flown. Um, I think, you know, everybody should give themselves an hour or two to kind of adjust to it and, and learn, you know, the ins and outs of it. Um, the one thing that I would like to do differently next time is have a, a better fitted hat. The reason for that was with the weight of the Icarus device on the bill, because the hat was loose, it was causing the Icarus device to, to sag down. Nothing against the Icarus device whatsoever, that's just something I gotta fix for myself as the pilot. But overall, I thought it worked really well. I think for somebody that has never used the standard, um, foggles it'll be a very smooth transition for me it's a little bit of adjustment because I'm used to these now and then having to go to this is going to take me a little time but definitely somebody starting off fresh from zero will fall right into this one and have no issues yeah I, I thought that you know for a first time take out of the box and go it worked very well how's her great product how's her kind of his wrap up at the end of the video that you guys did where he said hey good job nick you know and he said it's something that we need in the training world right you can training is training simulating is simulating it can always be so it can only be so good it will never be the real thing however using that and trying to do instrument training versus using that to me it's a no-brainer yeah, so I agree and for the price point that they're at I, I don't see why every flight school wouldn't have one that's what I said for the money that we spend operating aircraft his cost on this drop in the bucket when it comes to the money you're spending on ratings I think yeah. great tool so we'll put a link down below um, I think Nick did an incredible job and he's a good marketer because he convinced me and got my attention with it and he's done a great job so we'll put a link down below for Nick's device and one more plug for Private Pilot 101. We'll put a link down that below as well. You can get a free PDF and you can also get the paper down, paperback at a link down below as well. Where are we going to be in November? Well, if you see this before November 11th, 2024, we're going to be in Las Vegas doing book signing on top 10 check ride tips. Uh, North Las Vegas Airport at AirSmart. 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. I shipped 100 copies of this down there that we're gonna give away and Taz and I will be signing them for you. So if you wanna visit, show up. We'd like RSVP so we get an idea how many people are coming, but 100 books, first 100 people to get there, get a book, we'll sign them for you. Reach out to Heather at 574-767-1797 and she can get any more details for you. Cause you might wanna fly with us in Vegas too. Or you might want to come here and fly the R-22 that will be arriving soon. You can text Heather for, Heather, Heather for that as well. Links below. Put the number down below too. Peace. Peace out.
When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the hogs, no go, and live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com